All right. Good evening, good afternoon, greetings, just good day to all my friends, my champions, my superstars, and my winners. Tonight, I'm not speaking with you from South Florida, and everybody who knows me knows how biased I am about South Florida. I'm in Sacramento, California. Now, you have to give credit where credit is due. I'll admit, the sun is shining, the weather is beautiful, the people have just been great, we've had awesome reception, so once again, kudos to Sacramento tonight. Now, tonight before we get into the topics, a couple of things. I, uh, I'm about to have dinner, matter of fact, with one of my own coaches, my own mentors, Mr. Jeffrey Combs. Now, Jeffrey Combs someone who's very successful, both internally and externally. And just like myself, he believes in adding value to himself so that he can turn around and bring value to others. Now, Jeffrey's been in the game for probably almost 20 years now. And uh, so I'm excited to have dinner with him along with about 15 other like-minded individuals. So it's going to be a good time and I'll be sure to let you know how that went and tell you all about it on our next installment next week. Now the other thing I want to do tonight is I definitely want to go ahead and thank you, thank you, thank you honestly and wholeheartedly about all the love, the support, the information, the messages, the feedback that I've got from you via text, email, inbox, Facebook, it was just great. Thank you. In exchange, I promise you, I guarantee you that I'm always going to do my best to make sure that I give you the best possible value and also a value that you can apply to your everyday life and apply instantaneously and easily. Nothing is going to be too dramatic. And also stick to the meat and potatoes. If I haven't done it, if I haven't lived it, I will not go ahead and talk to you about it. Fair enough? Great. Well, let's pick up where we left off. Last week we talked about personal development and um, a lot of times, you know, I, I get asked, Mike, what do you do? Oh, I'm a personal development coach. So, oh, you're a motivational speaker. Well, actually, no. There's a difference between the two. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of times a personal development coach can go ahead and motivate you. Same way a motivational speaker can go ahead and instill in you some personal development principles. But essentially, they're two, 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 two different arenas. They're similar but different. Now let's talk about what the difference is because once you know what the difference is, then you can go ahead and build from an educational, from an educated point of view rather as to how to proceed and which one is better for you and which one do you need. But at least you have to know what it is that we're dealing with. So a motivational speaker, let's say, is someone that man, when you're having character challenging day or character building day and you know it's just hum day and you're having a hard time to get it together, give that extra shot in the arm, that energy, that battery on your back and uh, they have the ability through their words by speaking, injecting you the focus, the energy, the choke that you need. You are inspired and motivated, focused and you get on the track and you get on the task and you get it done and accomplished. Now, by them telling you what to do, and why it's so important to do, this is where I come in. A personal development coach, now that you know what it is that you want to do, and you know what you have to do, and you know why you have to do it, well, I bring you the tools onto the how to do it. And the how to do it is very specific, actually. It's not something that's abstract, because I find a lot of people have an abstract perception. They think it's this intangible things. Actually, no, it's very systematic. It's simply a matter of goals, activities, actions, consistent, combined with some learnings and uh, some materials that we inject into uh, the activities that we do together. Now, those activities, we focus on knowledge of self, self-improvement, knowledge of others, knowledge of relationships, identifying gifts, identifying and areas that you're good at, leveraging them and realizing your goals, moving towards your dreams, fulfillment, all these things in the hope or actually in the specific purpose of improving the quality of your life and improving your lifestyle. Not necessarily materially or not necessarily financially, but also bringing value to yourself, whether for the job market, for your relationship, for uh, the free enterprise, or whatever it is that you choose because you have to have a purpose, you have to have a goal and you have to have an intent behind going through this. It's great knowledge is not necessarily power. Applied knowledge is power. Okay, And don't be overwhelmed. We can go ahead and get it done. How do you eat an elephant a bite at a time? 
think of it as your personal development coach would be exactly like your um, your personal trainer at the gym where I know the routine I know the diet I know which exercises but I will not do the push-ups for you you are responsible for your own push-ups the only thing is not only you would get results faster than you would but also it's supervised and along with someone that makes sure that you stick to the routine and stick to the program so hopefully that was able to shed some light for you on the matter hopefully you were able to uh, have a little bit more clarity tonight be sure to give me your feedback, your comments, your input on my Facebook page, Mike Contav. Or simply look me up on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, Mike Contav. That way you get all the updates, all the information, and make sure that we stay up to speed. Again, you're a champion, a winner. I believe in you. Here's my shoulder. Stand on it. Mike Contav. Sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. Signing off for the night. You're a champion.